In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Zippo Drive. Take the next right onto Zippo Drive, then your destination will be on the left. Your destination is on the left. Okay, well, we've just pulled into the Zippo Case Museum. Let me give you a look around. Cool street lamps. A big Zippo on the building. A case logo at the bottom. How many of you have Zippo lighters? How many of you have case knives? Let's go check out the history of both. I know I used to have a Zippo lighter or two. I don't know if I've ever had a case knife, but Zippo lighters? Yeah, I used to be a smoker. That's a long, long time ago. Don't do that anymore. Hope you all don't either, but let's go see about Zippo lighters. All right, here we are at the entrance. I think I'll go in and get an orientation film. Turns out I missed that show, so <laughs> I think we'll just wa wander around, see what we can see. familiar to you check that one out wow that's very cool it's a gift shop as you come in I have to wonder whether or not they've got some of those knives for purchase I would imagine they do even more
that's how I used my zip, although I was not uh, around and smoking in those days. That looks to be maybe the 50s. smell as much cigarette smoke these days. Well, I still do in perhaps too many places. And I try not to be critical being an ex-smoker myself, but seems like we should have moved past that by now. Maybe we could find some better uses for lighters than lighting up smokes. But I'll certainly acknowledge the history behind all of this. It was definitely a thing. Zippos. How about that? Okay, here we go. Yes. ZZ Top, ACDC, The Who. Definitely could get into one of those. Well, there's Meatloaf, Leonard Skinner, Pantera, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Rolling Stones, Beatles, Elvis, of course. More than one case full of Elvis. <laughs> Very good. Small game knife. That knife is big enough to cut a buffalo open.
As you could tell, the Zippo and Case Museum was a pretty fast visit uh, for a number of reasons, I guess. First of all, it is a very small facility, and so it's not acres and acres of space to, you know, wander around in and get lost in. Instead, it's pretty small, and um, you, you can get through it pretty quickly. Uh, the other thing is that it uh, seemed to me to be little more than a showcase for the products that you could probably still purchase today. I mean, I'm not sure. A lot of them are probably uh, historical in nature and you and, and are one of a kind. I mean, there were photographs of production lines and uh, other memorabilia from days gone by, uh, which made it quite interesting. But, um, you know, for the most part, it just seemed to be a showcase of a lot of different versions of the Zippo lighter over the years. Of course, the, the lighter itself hasn't changed all that much. It, I mean, its design was uh, pretty much perfect coming out of the gate, as far as I can tell. It's, uh, it's been such a popular uh, uh, lighter for so long. They must have gotten something right, right out of the gate. But uh, all of the designs that uh, have been imprinted on them and uh, the methods uh, for imprinting those designs, whether it be laser engraving or uh, some sort of a litho process or maybe even just um, uh, adhering uh, an embossed logo onto a lighter. But, you know, would I uh, stop and, uh, and see this museum if I were in the area? Yeah, absolutely. There is a gift shop, and I looked long and hard to see if I could find something to purchase. It is a free museum, so I think it's, um, you know, a, a kindness to go ahead and purchase something uh, from the gift shop there. Unfortunately, I didn't really find anything to, uh, uh, to purchase. I think that the... Uh, prices on the uh, products that were there in the gift shop were uh, at, at, at a minimum full retail. And so, you know, you probably could find these products at a lesser price somewhere else. But again, I'm going to stress that this is a free museum, so uh, pay a little extra, I guess, to uh, get something that you want. And in all likelihood, there are uh, many products here, many designs that you are not going to be able to find elsewhere. So there's that. Um, I already have uh, knives on board, uh, Joy, here, and I have uh, lighters on board here and those are the main things that uh, you can purchase there they have uh, quite a bit of apparel as well so if you're looking for a zippo sweatshirt or a zippo cap that kind of thing i'm sure that you'll find that as well uh, and, and case as well uh, don't mean to leave out case so y yes visit this uh, museum purchase something from their gift shop it's definitely worth a stop especially if you've ever owned a Zippo lighter or a case knife. Uh, good to know where this stuff all comes from and learn a little bit about its history. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, very brief tour of the Zippo Case Museum, and we'll see you in the next video.